how to calculate bond order using easy trick and we will learn exam question at the end of this lecture firstly i write here 14 and i also write 14 there this is the column of number of electrons and this is also the column of number of electrons here i go in descending order 13 12 11 10 9 8 while there I go in ascending order 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Secondly, I write here 3 and I also write 3 there. This is the column of bond orders and this is also the column of bond orders. Now listen carefully. I decrease the 3 by 0 0.5 in both the columns. Let me repeat it. I decrease the 3 by 0 0.5 in both the columns. Here I get 2.5, 2.0, 1.5, 1.0, 0.5 and 0. Similarly, there I get 2.5, 2.0, 1.5, 0.5, 1 and 0. Using this trick, we can easily crack any exam question easily. For example, Find the bond order for the following substances. To find the bond order, we have to find the total number of electrons. We know that there are 7 electrons present in nitrogen atom plus there are 8 electrons present in oxygen atom. So we get 15 electrons. We also know that when there are 15 electrons present, the bond order is 2.5. So the bond order of this molecule is 2.5. Secondly, there are 6 electrons present in carbon atom plus there are 7 electrons present in nitrogen atom. So we get 13 electrons. We know that when there are 13 electrons present, the bond order is 2.5. So the bond order of this molecule is 2.5. Thirdly, there are two atoms of oxygen in this oxygen molecule. So 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. So there are 16 electrons present in 8. We know that when there are 16 electrons present, the bond order is 2.0. So the bond order of this molecule is 2.0. Fourthly, there are 6 electrons present in carbon atom plus there are 8 electrons present in oxygen atom, which is equal to 14. So there are 14 electrons present in this molecule. We know that when there are 14 electrons present, the bond order is 3. So the bond order of this molecule is 3. Therefore, using this trick, we can find the bond order of any molecule. Now let me teach you that how can we find the bond order of ions. Consider these examples. Now to find the bond order, we have to find the total number of electrons. There are 6 electrons present in carbon atom plus there are 7 electrons present in nitrogen atom. Now what about this positive one? I change this positive one to negative one. So there are 12 electrons present in this ion. We know that when there are 12 electrons are present, the bond order is 2.0. So the bond order of this ion is 2.0. Secondly, there are 6 electrons present in carbon plus there are 7 electrons present in nitrogen. Now I change the sign of this negative one to positive one. I get 14 electrons. We know that when there are 14 electrons, the bond order is 3.0. So the bond order of this ion is 3.0. Thirdly, there are 7 electrons present in nitrogen atom plus there are 8 electrons present in oxygen atom. I change the sign of positive 1 to negative 1. I get 14 electrons. We know that when there are 14 electrons, the bond order is 3.0. So the bond order of this ion is 3.0. Hence, we can easily calculate the bond order of ions using this trick. Finally, let me teach you two exam questions. The correct bond order is either A option or B option. Firstly, let me check the B option. We know that 
टू एटम्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन आर प्रेजेंट सो आई राइट एट प्लस एट आई चेंज द साइन ऑफ नेगेटिव वन टू पॉजिटिव वन आई गेट सेवनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वी नो दैट वेन दियर आर सेवनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंडली एट प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन वेन दियर आर सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इज टू पॉइंट जीरो थर्डली एट प्लस एट आई चेंज द साइन ऑफ पॉजिटिव वन टू निगेटिव वन आई गेट फिफ्टीन वी नो दैट वेन दियर आर फिफ्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इज टू पॉइंट फाइव नो वी कैन सी दैट टू पॉइंट फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन टू पॉइंट जीरो एंड टू पॉइंट जीरो इज ग्रेटर देन वन पॉइंट फाइव सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी हेंस नोटेड डाउन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सेकेंडली फाइंड द हाइएस्ट बॉन्ड लेंथ रिमेंबर दैट बॉन्ड लेंथ इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू बॉन्ड ऑर्डर सो फर्स्टली वी हैव टू फाइंड द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर देन वी कैन इजिली प्रोडक्ट द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर नो इन केस ऑफ ए ऑप्शन देर आर सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन कार्बन एटम प्लस सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट इन नाइट्रोजन एटम आई चेंज द साइन ऑफ नेगेटिव वन टू पॉजिटिव वन I get fourteen electrons. When there are fourteen electrons, the bond order is three point zero. Secondly, there are six electrons present in carbon atom plus seven electrons are present in nitrogen atom. I get thirteen electrons. We know that when there are thirteen electrons, the bond order is two point five. Now listen carefully. Highest bond order means lowest bond length. while lowest bond length means highest bond order so this has lowest bond order so it has highest bond length therefore the correct option is b thus also noted down this important question i hope that you have learned all about the bond order